Welcome back, everybody. It's your boy, Sean, the American in Krakow, back in the studio, here to give you another one of my little gear or tip reviews on my gear. So in my last video where I was talking about gear, I mentioned that I took the time to invest in purchasing the gear that was most comfortable for me to wear, which in turn allowed me to want to wear them more often. And, you know, that's not as simple as just finding a specific piece of gear and it being the perfect uh, riding jean or jacket or, or any of those type of things. Sometimes it's a little bit more involved than that. Now, I'm not trying to make this seem very difficult. You can just go buy a pair of riding jeans that come with knee and, and, and hip armor or something like that, and, and you'll be fine. But one of the things I wanted to talk about, though, is, you know, what made or how did I make something more comfortable besides just investing in more expensive gear or uh, researching till the cows come home and, and looking for something that I never can find. So what I want to talk about is, for example, right here, I have a pair of riding jeans. These are my, one of my everyday riding jeans. These are the Trilobite 661 Paredos. Uh, by no means am I advertising or marketing for these guys. Uh, these just happen to be a pair of jeans that I wear. One of the reasons I wear them is A, they come in my size, real simple. Uh, and B, they have some additional features. For example, up here on the thigh area, there's a zippered section that you can open and it exposes itself with a Kevlar, but perforated Kevlar liner that allows air to flow in and out of the jeans a lot better in the warmer months. Additionally, in the crotch area, <laughs> it's funny I'm saying crotch area, besides instead of being a typical hard denim, which this is a very heavy, very hard denim, the material actually in the crotch area is a stretched, flexible material that's also very breathable. So again, you have airflow and the ability for moisture to uh, kind of escape the jean. Because as I mentioned in the other video as well, these jeans are two layer jeans. So for example, right here in the butt area, on top of the jean, there is another Kevlar liner. So the jean might get worn away during a slide, but the Kevlar liner won't. Or it would take a lot more slide and a lot more damage before it actually gets through over to my skin. So I have a very heavy jean with some ventilation, but what else can I do to make it more comfortable? And for me, one of the key things that I really disliked about riding jeans before I started wearing them every day was that everybody can tell that they're riding jeans because especially if you're wearing armor in them, the pads are thick and bulky and they just hold a certain shape all the time and they don't flow well. So for example, here are some Sastec armor that actually comes with these jeans. And these are level two uh, rated armors, so CE level two. Here's the hip protector and here is the knee protector. And as you can see, they're, they're quite malleable. They move well. They will shape to your knee. They will shape to your hip and they're not overly uncomfortable, but they are bulky. And you know, when you're standing, this entire part of your knee is always gonna be a little bit straighter or pushed out or something because the armor just makes it look like that. So again, it just didn't feel comfortable to me to wear, especially if I'm going to ride and then go somewhere. It makes sense if you're gonna ride and you know, you're gonna go somewhere other than just riding. You know, I don't wanna necessarily have to go to a cafe or go to work or you know, where any, anywhere else I'm gonna be off the bike and advertise the fact that I am wearing motorcycle gear one. And again, it's just not that comfortable to walk around in to me personally. So how do I address this? So the first thing is understanding what armor rating is. So these I mentioned are CE level two armor. Um, I'm not gonna go into technical detail about CE level two, CE level one. Google is your best friend. However, let's just say level one armor protects you less than level two armor. And the rating is based on speed of impact, force of impact, 
how much the armor will dissipate. And surprise, I mean, something as malleable as this will dissipate a lot of force before transmitting it to your knee or shin or wherever these types of armors are sitting. So, I did is I went and did my homework. I understood the difference between level one and level two, and then opted for a set of level one armors that fit in my jean that made them a lot more comfortable. Like they move like regular fabric. Um, I have a set right here actually. So as you can see, they're not a matching set, but these I actually took out of those jeans. What we have here is a set of Revit C-Smart armor, Revit C-Smart level one armor. And I'm just gonna hold it up right here for you guys. As you can see, it's kind of a perforated D3O type armor. D3O is not Revit's brand, right? D3O is branded by a different company, but it's that type of armor. But as you can see, it's super flexible. So I put that in my knee pad and the jeans now dictate the shape. So as I walk, as I sit, as I stand, they just fall naturally with the fabric of the jeans. So. That's the number one piece. The number two piece here is different brand. These are from Dionysi. Similar concept, very flexible. Again, level one armor. And the reason I didn't go with a matching set is I had to do my homework. These, these pieces of armor weren't designed for that jean. I ended up having to find armor. So these are, these are the hip armor that fit in that jean. And these are the knee armor that fit in that jean and it works great. So now you're gonna ask, well, why did you downgrade your protection? You know, I went from level one, or I'm sorry, from level two coming with the jeans and went and purchased, spent more money and got something that's of less protective value and installed them in my jeans. Well, like I said, you kind of have to come to terms with what these levels of protections mean and what level of protection you're willing to ride with. And I made that decision that for me, most of the time that I'm riding, especially in the city, I'm okay with wearing level one armor. That's to be said that I also have another pair of those same exact jeans that I do have the Sastec level two armors installed in all the time, except for when washing. So I have two pairs of the same jeans. I kind of look at the day, I think, you know, how do I feel? Am I gonna wanna go out and hit the, the corners really hard and, and you know carve up some curves? Am I feeling a little spicy? And if I am, I'm gonna wear the jeans with the level two armor. If I'm just in that mood to beat around Krakow and just go to the mall and go shopping and check out some cafes or restaurants, I'm gonna wear the jeans with the level one armor. One, because I know I'm gonna be walking around more, I'm gonna be off the bike a lot more, and these are just more comfortable and Level one armor to me is acceptable protection for riding around in the city. My buddy Adam might probably disagree with me because he's seen how I ride in the city, but my opinion is I still ride harder when I'm in a spicy mood. So that's where I go with the level two armor. But that's it really. It's doing your homework, understanding what's available to you, and then purchasing the right pieces of equipment to make your gear as protective as you need them to be and as comfortable as you need them to be. And when you have that kind of balance, you're more inclined to just say, oh, I'm not just gonna throw on regular jeans and sneakers, I'm going to wear the gear that is designed to protect me because it's not gonna be a, a burden or make you feel uncomfortable. And if that's what happens, you're gonna to wanna to wear it. And that's what works for me. It's not for everyone. Some people are just hardcore. I'm gonna wear all the protection I can, level two everywhere, and that's awesome for you. I'm just out here speaking to those who may be considering switching from wearing no gear to gear, or, hey, I have gear, but it's uncomfortable, and I don't like wearing it because it's just uncomfortable. And these are some of the little tips and tricks that I use, specifically in the area of wearing jeans, that make them more comfortable for me to wear, and if they're more comfortable, I wear them. Anyway, that's it for today. I just wanna say again, thank you guys so much for joining. If you're here still and, and like the video, give it a like. If you want to subscribe and hear more tips and tricks like this, please do subscribe. I do things like this. I will also do more riding videos where I go out to check out some places to eat in Krakow. I also do gear, actual gear review, some of the gear that I own. So feel free to subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to get notified when I post. And check out my Instagram, the link will be in the outro. Thanks again, y'all. Peace. <laughs>